Howdy folks, Mark Mellett from Solar World here, trying to keep you guys updated on all the progress that we're doing here. Never mind that little red wire up there, that is the last thing we gotta do is cap that off with that wood that you're seeing right there. Uh, so we are in test phase right now with the uh, uh, the platform for the GrowWatt series, uh, two transformer, six uh, GrowWatt, 5000 ES, 200 amp transfer switch, 125 amp panel, uh, four PVs coming in. Uh, we have a grand total uh, battery bank of I don't even know, but we'll go ahead and take a peek real fast. Here's a row of batteries. I think there's 18 of them. Uh, grand total we have uh, 12 more sitting on the other job. Uh, two more inverters sitting here and two more batteries to go build on the other side of this wall, a power wall, pretty much a uh, off-grid utility within an off-grid utility, but we'll make another video for that. So the four inverters that are sitting on top of the main power source uh, we will add the other two later on uh, either with more solar or when the power production needs to be uh, this is a hybrid system we have a uh, three grow watt 10 kw inverter sitting on the other side of this wall that are going to be doing the uh, grid tie aspect on this 10,000 square foot home uh, just to kind of keep you updated so uh, the batteries are roughly 54 percent we just like i said have started charging aspect uh, we got a grand total of 9 amps coming in, or about 2200 uh, watts, it's about 11 a.m. in the morning. Uh, the power consumption aspect, if you go up here, we got about three to 400 watts coming, uh, uh, going into the house. And like I said, we have about 2200 watts coming in, so our battery bank by the end of the day should be charged. Other than that, uh, I will keep you updated on the progress of the uh, uh, rest of the uh, uh, project as it goes along. Uh, but as you can see here, this is the output panel with the two transformers sitting here. We have inverter one, two, three, four, uh, transformer one and two. If we need to for later on, we'll go ahead and add these two uh, um, uh, inverters and uh, add on more circuits as we go. Uh, 5,000 watt transformer as you can see here, communication cables, buses, all that jazz, just kind of sneak peek on the inside so you can see. Uh, we have a ground uh, L1 and an L2, even though it says it is a neutral, that is an L2 uh, for 230 volt single phase trans transformerless uh, um, European inverter basically, and that's why we need these transformers to make 120 volts coming out. This panel right here uh, will be the feed coming in. We are running an off-grid application as of right now, so we are not using any of the power source coming in from the utility company whatsoever. We are supplying all lights, communications, TVs throughout the whole house as we speak. Uh, this will be the grid feeding in. Uh, I will be updating these to a double pole. They are just there for right now, uh, so we are located for inverter one, two, three, four, all that jazz. Uh, so long story short, like I said, this will be coming in from grid to feed battery and do a bypass in case there's not enough solar. But as of right now, it is August. We're making plenty of sun. And uh, yeah, we'll keep you updated on the progress in the next month or so. Other than that, thank you. God bless.